What's going on, addicts? Welcome to the Fantasy Addiction Network, doing our last draft strategy video. In this one, we are talking tight ends. Now, tight end is the most obscure position, and there's, uh, honestly, I feel like there's way easier to discuss strategy because you're probably only going to do one of two things this year based on ADP right now. Only reason I pivot from that is if you can get someone that I like at a decent value, like uh, and we'll, we'll talk about that as we go through it. But really, to me, you're either going to uh, take someone that you know is going to be good, which would be Travis Kelsey or George Kittle, or going to punt the position and take a lot of lottery picks, either two or three guys in the double-digit rounds, and hope to hit on someone that massively outproduces their ADP. Basically, the target is to either take someone you know is going to be a top tier at their position or look for the next Mark Andrews, George Kittle type in the later rounds. Um, so that's pretty much the strategy that we're going to employ. Uh, in terms of taking Travis Kelsey or George Kittle, I personally only like doing it outside of tight end premium. That changes things a little bit, but in standard, you know, one point per reception leagues, I like taking George Kittle or Travis Kelsey if I have one of these first four picks. And that's because my goal is typically to get two running backs in the first round or first two rounds. But if Aaron Jones, Nick Chubb, and Austin Eckler are gone by the time it gets back to me in the second round, I like the upside that you get by having two elite players at, at their position, you know, getting a CMC, Barkley, or Elliott, and then loading it up with a George Kittle or Travis Kelsey just seems like a really wise play this year, especially because you can still get two really good receivers and another running back like uh, DeAndre Swift or Mark Ingram in the fifth round. That is the only time I'm really considering taking a tight end. I'm not taking George Kittle or Travis Kelsey over a guy like Nick Chubb. Uh, if I can get two running backs early, I'll probably end up punting a tight end till later. Uh, in terms of the guys in the middle rounds, I mean, I like Mark Andrews a lot this year, and I think Zach Ertz will continue to be productive, but going where they are right now at ADP, I'm not taking either of those guys over AJ Brown, DJ Chark, Tyler Lockett, Calvin Ridley, the guys that we keep mentioning pretty much every video, the the receivers from rounds three, three through six are too good. Only way I'm taking them is if they fall to me in like the sixth round, which I don't think is going to happen. And then not very interested in Darren Waller, Rob Gronkowski, Evan Ingram. I like Tyler Higby a good bit. I wouldn't mind taking him in the ninth round if he falls that far, but overall, I think he only offers you a, uh, marginally greater upside than some of the guys I like later. So probably what I'm going to end up doing if I don't, if I you know have one of the back end picks or I end up getting a running back in the second round and I pivot off of taking a tight end here in the second. We've already discussed in our wide receiver strategy video that we're taking a wide receiver the third every time, regardless of uh, <laughs> pretty much regardless of any other strategy. So if that ends up happening, then we get to the uh, massive tier of, re of tight ends that are going from round 10 onwards. So guys I like here, TJ Hawkinson, massive upside there in Detroit. Incredibly athletic guy is killing in camp right now. Mike Gusecki also looking to be a red zone monster this year. Not many other targets uh, to steal from in Miami. Should be slated for a breakout year. Love Blake Jarwin, love Johnny Smith, all these guys. Super athletic. Blake Jarwin, a lot more competition for targets than a guy like uh, Hawkinson, Gusecki, or Smith, but still like him a lot. Noah Fant going a little bit earlier, but definitely has the potential to break out. Showed a lot of promise last year. Uh, even a guy like Austin Hooper is doing really good in camp right now. Um, you know, considering where he finished last year, I thought his ADP was going to be like seventh, eighth round, but since it's in the 12th round, I'm willing to look there. Chris Herndon, not necessarily a big fan of, but he's getting a lot of head nods in camp and getting him in the 14th, 15th round seems like it's worth the price to pay there. So uh, if you don't end up with George Kittle or Travis Kelsey, the goal is to take two to three of these guys, depending on how big your bench is, and seeing if any of them break out within the first couple weeks. Last year, we knew in week one that Mark Andrews was going to be a dominant factor in the NFL. So hopefully, if you take a few of these lottery picks, if Mike Gusecki or TJ Hawkinson go off for 25 points in week one, then you know you can move on from the other guys that you took and hopefully you have a tight end you can start for the rest of the season. And if you miss on that guy, then you're probably going to end up playing the streaming game from that point forward. But at least you didn't spend a high uh, draft capital on a guy like Evan Ingram, who, who might get hurt again. Hayden Hurst, who I think is being overdrafted right now. Darren Waller, same thing. Rob Gronkowski, same thing. Like, these guys could all finish below some of these guys that are going in the 13th round and later. 
I'd be willing to reach a couple rounds to make sure I get Mike Gusecki, TJ Hawkinson, or Johnny Smith uh, making just going in the 11th or 12th round, grabbing two of those guys seems optimal. So that is my plan for tight end this year. Like I said, a lot easier to have this discussion uh, because there's really only two strategies I feel like you should be taking in a traditional format. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you have curious or any curiosities over any of the guys that are worth drafting, we've done player outlook videos. You can check that out on our channel and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.